menu recipe ideas Sunday on the Coons Cooking Hour. Joe and Frank Dentisi, and they've got that great location right here in Hopewell. And if you want to find the one nearest you, go to coonsmarket.com. You don't really need uh, an entree because, I mean, let's face it, you're going to be munching the entire time during the big game. But I also think it's important. You don't want a lot of filling foods either. So maybe a veggie tray or, you know, some pepperoni, some cheese, some stuff like that that you can kind of snack on that as the game progresses, you're going to still have a little room left over to maybe go munch a munch a few more times. I agree, but I didn't get my boyish figure of eating vegetables. You know what I mean? I, now, I can relate, brother. I okay, can relate. You know, we can go out and get some salami, some capicola, Ooh. and all that good stuff and put out a big uh, antipasto platter. So we would call that an Italian Super Bowl, I guess. Huh? Yes, we would. You know? Yes, we would. And then you could always also go out and buy baguettes, French baguettes, um, nice long loaf of bread, put either turkey, ham, make a, an Italian hoagie, make a, a tuna hoagie, buy w whatever, anything you'd like, and put that out. That's another item that could be done quickly. I think what you need to do for a Super Bowl party, because I'll be watching the Puppy Bowl. Well, oh, that's great. Okay. That's great. <laughs> You got to think easy. You know why? Once again, why put a lot of work in it? Even though it may be the wife doing it, the husband doing it for the wife's friends, easy, and so you have fun. So not somebody's laboring in the kitchen all day. Listen, all I can say is you have to have plenty of this ice cold, refreshing Coca Cola, and you can pick it up at Coons Market, and you can also enjoy it right here at the club at Shadow Lakes.